Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dreadamatoto and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we go to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Wee's GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now, these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I really do appreciate their support. So, why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out? And we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install Enable All Interiors mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. This mod does require Lemon UI so I will leave this inside my description below. Make sure that you do scroll down and now download version 1.5.2. Really important, download version 1.5.2. Do not download the latest version because it will not work. So download version 1.5.2. So go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open the file location. Now before we do anything, go to your scriptvnet.ini file and then I'll change your reload key to insert. Really important. Then make sure that you do save it. Next, go to your scripts folder. If you do not have one, simply right click, go to new and create a folder and name that folder scripts. Make sure that you do spell all scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder. Now let's begin. Open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Then now go to your SHVDN2 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then open up your SHVDN3 folder. Then now select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your enable all interiors extract folder. And now to wait for a few seconds, open up this folder, open up your scripts folder, then select all the files and folder, except for the text files, and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Then go back to your main Grand Theft Auto V folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are back with Franklin. So we are in the game, so as you guys can see, my game did freeze, but don't worry. If your game does freeze like mine, then don't worry, okay? It will be okay. Now, once you're in the game, the most important thing that you must do is go to your phone, then go to your contacts, then go right down to the bottom to enable all interiors. Wait for a few seconds, then go to change and interior. Now, over here, okay, it's really up to you, but you can choose what building to actually go to. But you can go into these uh, interiors, okay? So, the most important thing that you must do, okay, is you need to load MP maps. So go to your MISC options, okay. Now really important, you must enable your markers. Go to true. And now go to load MP maps, make sure that is true. Now enable blips, make sure that is true as well. And now random color blips, make sure that it's true. But that's optional, okay? That's only if you want colors on your map. 
once you have done that then you can just go and back out okay and now go to refresh interiors wait for a few seconds then exit out of your menu then on your keyboard press insert on your keyboard and then there you go now we are going to go and check out an interior on our map okay and we are here at our location which is the nightclub so once you are at your location you can just simply go over here then press E and then now you can go into your nightclub okay now unfortunately there isn't anybody in here and there's nothing that you can do besides just walk around so as you guys can see it's pretty simple it's just a building there's nothing that you can do but um, yeah I just wanted to go in here to show you guys that it does work but like what I said unfortunately you cannot do anything and you cannot do any missions the only way to do missions is to install the business mega pack which I will do a separate video about that so let's go to our next building to test it out and now we are here at the executive business and we're going to go over here and we're going to go over here and now press E now as you can see we are at the executive business and like like I said before we can't do anything in here uh, but we can change the interiors by using our uh, our mod menu but yeah it's pretty cool okay guys you can just do some role plays in here or you can just take some photo shoots or whatever but yep the enable all interiors does work 100% work in 2023 but like I said if you guys want to do the business mod missions then I will do a separate tutorial video about that another day so with that said I hope you guys do enjoy it and now we are back again so I hope you guys did enjoy that now just to let you guys know okay if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you guys want fast reply then join the developers discord server and then now him and his team will help you guys out okay so go and check that out but with that said if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and i'll see you guys on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out